Hey guys, well, welcome back to to the next tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be creating a static sprite class. And like I mentioned earlier, a static sprite class is just like a stationary object, you could say, that's not probably not moving at all. Like the background, you know, it's not going to be moving. Or objects that maybe it's just anything that has to do with background, like this, the, like the background picture I guess you have maybe you could have a parallax I'll be talking about it more once I'm in the class and anything that has to do with maybe the ground and stuff like that I'll be I'll be mentioning it once I'm in the class already so let's create a new uh, a new class and call it static sprite or you could call it anything you want but as long as you know what I'm trying to say here and not mix it up Alright, in your or in your DH file, include your DX manager. That's all you can need in this DH. Um and some variables you can be including here. Let's have a, a texture, LP direct, texture nine, three D texture nine. I don't know why these are so long. <laughs> Create a texture. Have a rect. I'll explain in a bit why why a rect. And create a function called boy uh, create texture, which will create our texture. And pass in a sharp pointer and the file name. Here you will create a a virtual a void initialize and pass in the char pointer of a file name. And right here we can have three different render functions. So for the first one, it's just a render. And the, this render function will probably be only for stationary objects, I guess. I mean, stationary, like for backgrounds, stationary, stationary backgrounds. Now it's gonna be the whole, the same thing as long as you keep moving. It's gonna be the same exact thing. Another one that will be for movable backgrounds, and by movable, I mean if you can have parallax on it and if you don't know what parallax which I don't know why you shouldn't but if you don't know what that is it's basically as you keep moving the backgrounds will be moving at a certain dip, um, movement so it will look like it has depth into the, into it I think I said it right right alright and it's gonna be virtual and the reason why I have virtual is because I'm gonna have another class that's gonna be deriving from it and it's going to take the same um, um, functions. And this is going to be virtual boy render. And you can pass in a, a, a position uh, vector 3, d3 dx vector 3. Position. And for the last one, is for like this is mostly just for the ground, like for the ground that you can be stepping on and you can have collisions on it, and it's gonna pass in a rect. So mostly for grounds, for the ground. Uh, too much for slashes. So that's gonna just be a regular void render, and pass in a D3. The expector three position erect and that's it. Yeah, just those two. 
And I'm like, we can have some getters and setter functions at the end for setting direct. So we can have a const rect get rect. And return direct. And you have some setters that will set a rect. And that uh, they're both gonna be void, void, set, rect. We can have two different variations, so using this one is just passing the actual variable variable rect, variable type, and just set the rect to that. And the other one is just going to be setting it one by one. So set rect, which probably would be easier, I guess you could say. Which have an int left, int right, int top, and int bottom. And you can set each one in there. So m rect it should be left equals left. M rect dot right equals right M rect dot top equals top and M rect bottom equals bottom Make sure I set these right. Set right. Okay. And that will be it for the .h file. Let's compile it and see if there's no errors, hopefully. And our errors to see what's up. Oh, yeah, I know why. It's because I need to set them in here. Hold on. But, anyways, um, don't worry about the link errors. It's because it's virtual and you have to set them. Because it doesn't have one. It's like, it's getting crazy. It's be like, oh, I don't have a function for this. You have to have a function where you're creating virtuals. So and let's let's go to the CPP file and set the M texture to null. And then let's create the initialize function. Which should be easy. Just one line of code. And have to create function. I mean, to create uh, texture. Is it create texture or sprite? I think it was texture. With the file name. And then in here, we can create the plate texture. The create texture, I mean. So, and sorry guys, my I was being called. Anyways, uh, we can uh, create the texture, the create texture function, and we can uh, have it as the m texture equals the dx manager, and that's gonna be the the get the get texture that we had in that function we're going to pass it in as a file name and you guys going to be like where you guys where did you call this from and it's basically like a uh, for the let's go back the x manager we have a global variable for this and we had an extern so since uh, since it's globally called then 
you can use it anytime you pass in the the DX manager the H to any file. So that's why I'm getting it from. Wait, okay, hold on. Am I calling it right? It's G underscore. Remember, you have to call it right, so else it's not gonna be right. So yeah, um, so basically, I, I, not, I don't really know too much about Xtern, but since it's globally called or set, or you could getting the object from the X Manager, anytime you pass the the X Manager .h file to any other files, you will be able to use it. I mean, there's different ways to do this. Like you, you could call you could call it in a main file, and for a static sprite, you could create a uh, function. That will pass in that DX manager, and you will probably be able to use it that way. So there are different ways to do it, but if you don't know what I'm trying to say, then let me know, and I'll probably uh, do a tutorial on it real quick, and I'll show you guys what I'm trying to say. But anyway, let's continue, and we'll start creating our render functions. Boy static render for render for our first one. Which will not have anything in there. And it's going to be a G underscore DX manager. That draw sprite. And you're just going to pass in the texture. Hold on, real quick. Yeah, you're just gonna pass in the texture and that's it and before remember I forgot to put this capital I just realized that right now but remember to change it if you guys did, didn't mess up like I did but anyway let's just go uh, let's create the other two other render functions real quick and that's gonna be a T underscore DX manager And that's gonna be draw sprite, and you can pass in the texture and the position, and for the final one, it's gonna be void static sprite render. And you can pass in the texture, the rect, and the position. And or oh, and yes. And if I'm not mistaken, shoot compile now. Yeah, there you go. So this is it for the static sprite. In the next tutorial, I'll be creating the the animated sprite class, and those is just for you say for your player, you can have animating and blah 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 and stuff like that, you know. And you know the reason why I'm creating these two two um, classes. I know you guys are creating yourself, but easily it's not that difficult. But I'll be explaining it later on, the reason why I'm creating these two. Alright guys, see you later.